Hi everyone. Um, oh, I hope I didn't just unplug my charger. Okay. Sorry, I'm morning. I just took my morning hair down, <laughs> my nighttime hair down, and I'm a little wild. <laughs> oh, where's my glasses? Oh, I'm so unorganized. There they are. Here them. Okay, just in case I need them. I am burning up. I can't breathe. Anxiety is through the roof. Um, but I'm coming to you from my favorite place. Well, one of my favorite. My whole house is my favorite place because it's all, it's all boho, hippie me. Like it all has my flair to it. You know what I mean? Like it's just. Um, I bought a fixer upper and I've worked on it since 2014 and I'm still working on it, but, um, it's, yeah, uh, it, it's just come such a long way and it's, I'm so proud of me. Um, cause most of it was done by me and I did have to hire, you know, a guy here and there. And then I had some tragedies that happened, like water freaking tank bust, not busted, but long story. Anyways, we're not going there. The reason we are here today, in fact, let me, I don't know if I should start over. No, I'm just going to go with it. So the reason we're here today is because I like, I read, I'm an avid reader. So I am always reading and learning about, um, you know, my passion, which is, you know, my green kitchen witchery and, um, the traditions and like how things started. And like, so I recently found out that, um, you should have a separate altar for the, um, different, uh, seasons like winter solstice. And then your, Alt your main altar, like the one that has all the special items, meaning you know, like meaningful things. Um, I'm burning up. Sorry. Um, all the meaningful like things um, that you put on your altar that just means something to you. You know, like special. Like I had special photos and um, my great great grandmother who passed on her gifts to me on her deathbed you know like her obituary like little thing and then my birth announcement and just things like that pictures of uh my best friend a picture of my best friend and then me you know the me and um you know she passed away uh, in 2017, she visits me all the time and my dad and I, he passed away, um, about, I want to say seven years ago, eight years ago, about eight years ago. Um, I don't know. Anyhow, I want some baby girl. <laughs> But, um, so I was like, that makes so much sense. So I spend the majority of my time not in my bed having coffee. <laughs> so I decided that my winter solstice, you know, um, my Yule, you know, the one that I would use for my seasons would be in my room. And the one that I would have for all, every day would be in the living room right next to the recliner that I sit in all the time. Um, so I'm very impressed with my cats. They have not touched a thing and they don't, they usually don't. I've always had crystals everywhere. I just, um, let's have a little, have a little coffee with me guys. Okay. It's wee early in the morning. Ah, it's getting a little cold. Time for a reheat. Add a little more. That's what my aunt used to say. My mom aunt. Um, she 
She said, are you ready for a reheat? Because <laughs> when our coffee would start getting whole, we just get out of more. <laughs> But, um, so anyways, that's what I want to talk about. I wanted to, I don't know if you know this, but I wanted to share what I found out with you and, um, that you should have a, an altar set up for the different, um, seasons, the wheel of the year, you know, the different occasions, celebrations, and then you should have your personal, what means like all the things that mean so much to you in the space that you spend most of your time in that makes so much sense i was like okay so um two days ago i did some rearranging and um i had made a little uh centerpiece for my kitchen table for yule and i put it on this altar in here so i decided the altar in my room would be the one that i use for the seasons and stuff and celebrating the will of the year and all of the, um, you know, different occasions. Um, and also it's where I s store my, um, essential oils and, um, spices and dried flowers that I use in my, um, soaps and organic products that um i have a little group that i um i do sell my my items in um and uh well i started out making them for myself but when i shared on my facebook page people were like are you selling that i'm like no, I made it for me. But anyways, um, it ended up into a little tiny business and it's not a big thing. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a small little group. Um, I'm kind of afraid to put it on my blog cause I have like 900 people on my blog. So, and it's every day it grows. And, um, like I'm a one man show. Like what if everybody wants like, because it's really good stuff. And I use all organic and high quality products. And my soaps are just so, ugh. But anyways, that's what I, we're here to talk about again. <laughs> so again, I, uh, so here, oh shoot, I forgot. Why did I take a picture of me? I forgot. I can't turn it around on these videos, which is why I like to go live. So I did a, um, I did change my, I wonder if I have enough battery to go over there. Um, where's my glasses again? Always losing my glasses. So I'm going to see if I can turn it around. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this is my room. Oh, you're looking at me. Jesus. I'm, I'm I'm losing it. So I changed. I really wish I knew what you were looking at. So I got the um, moon phases and seasons. The wolf moon was amazing. Was it not, guys? Did you see it? Here's my center. Ew, whoa. <laughs> Here's my. What is this? Why do I have an earring laying here? And two earrings laying here? Oh, okay. That must have been a day where I was just like over it. Okay. So here's my centerpiece that I made for Embolic. Um, or not for Embolic. I'm sorry. For uh, Yule. I, with pine cones, dried lilies, cinnamon sticks. I made a star out of the cinnamon sticks, which you can no longer see because I put so much stuff on top of it. Dried lilies, dried rose petals. Um, I uh, put, I took um, super glue and just kind of drizzled it over and then put ro uh, lavender over it. I hope you are seeing this. Um, perhaps I should. Oh, it's very fragile. Okay. And on the bay leaves, I, um, on the bay leaves, I wrote, uh, affirmations and intentions for the year. And then I have cinnamon sticks and little baby pine cones, which are adorbs. Um, they're so cute. And these are um, gin crystallized ginger, which is seasonal. 
And you can eat them. You can eat them. I have like a whole thing of them and I always eat one or two a day. I put them on here. Um, and this, I think this is like holly or something. You know what? I think I'm going to put the candle in there. Ah, there we go. Um, and then, I, oh, you guys. Well, apparently some ashes got spread. And then I have my green witch book up here. My Yule book, which I just got done reading. Because, like I said, and some more baby pine cones. And this is a beautiful, I have a few of these sunstones. Can you see? Wait, can you see? It's a sunstone. I ordered some of these for my shop. And I have a few over here as an offering for the um, growing season. As well as a jar of um, dried rose petals. And, um, here are some of, here are some of the things I use in my business, but I had these antique leaves, glass leaves, and I thought, wow, those would look beautiful. I have a area where I have all my green glass, antique glass, but then here's my herbs, some dried lilies. Oops. Uh, I think this is lavender. I didn't have to label it. Um, Rosemary, bay leaves, like you get the, you get the gist. And then my essential oils that I use in my soaps and my dragonfly spray and oh, my scrubs and all the things. So this is now my, um, my seasonal altar and my tree of life. And then over here, oh, Oliver was up here, my cat Oliver. So he did a little damage. And then this is like a summertime theme, the shells and stuff. And I, it was actually all in a painting my daughter did. Actually, that's, that's supposed to be her. She is Serbian and Puerto Rican and gorgeous. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I thought, well, this will be a little altar for the season, for the summer season. So anyways, I'm back. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to share that. And, um, so I put uh, next to my, well, hello, handsome. <laughs> oh, you always start. So I put all of my, um, mm, sorry, I'm in a lot of pain this morning. I put all of my, um, other crystals and, you know, special items on the table, on the table next to my chair in the living room and um oh, it has made like such where are my glasses again jeez oh man oh, there they go how did they get over there let's see let's see how it look see the glare i gotta get some kind of tint over them because the glare just really gets on my nerves so it's hard to wear during lives and stuff anyhow <laughs> So I just wanted to talk about the altar thing. Like, and I didn't know if it it was any, is that something that you all knew about? And I just thought I'd like to share the information. Like, you know, it was something that I learned. Um, this page is just kind of eclectic. It's not, or this channel rather, I'm sorry, is kind of eclectic. It's just gonna, it's like, um, a window into my, my mind. Like when I learn things, I share things. So, um, I just hope that was helpful. Let me sit up. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful and I'm sorry. It's so early in the morning and I look atrocious, <laughs> but, um, well, I guess I'm not too bad this morning. Um, oh, and I also purchased recently this, let me see, let me make sure you can see it. It's a, we're going to go over there. We're going to travel again. And I don't, I wish I could do lives. It is a tapestry with positive affirmations all over it. And when I get up in the morning, well, I haven't literally, I haven't officially gotten up. So we haven't done this yet. But when I make my bed and I get ready to go through the house, I stop at it and I say, every one of these affirmations to myself and I hope I am holding this camera in the right 
direct position. And I say every one of these to myself, and it helps start my day. Um, meditation is a good start to my day, which eh, I skipped it yesterday. Um, and then coffee, and I have started this workout routine. It's a dance workout. It is so much fun. Um, I hope you could could see that. But it's so much fun. And um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to come alive. But it's it's a lot of fun. And then after my little dance workout, <laughs> then I go take a shower and. I read. I do a lot of reading. Um, I finished my Yule book, so I put it there. Right now I'm reading um, this book by J.C. Blake. I think it is J.C. Blake. J.C. Blake. Yeah. Um, it's a series. Um, the first one was Hot Flashes. <sighs> Shit, I forget. But anyways, it's like... Uh, a witchy series of course and um it's really good and you can't put it down i'm on book two of the first series she's already written another series like i had i had to get new glasses and my insurance was giving me a big stink so i just ended up paying paying for my glasses which i have i have the no line bifocal because i don't know if you know my right eye is, is a not a real eye um, something occurred and I had to have it removed. Um, and, uh, so the left eye works overtime. <laughs> and so I was like wearing glasses that were like four years old. So I had to like the last six months, like before I got my glasses, which was last month. Yeah. Um, oh, this hair, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom and like fluff fluff and stuff <laughs> um but i got my glasses finally and um so i have been back into my reading and i will just get lost in anything i'm reading i just get lost in because i love to read i love to learn um about the craft and like in in just like the things that just make me happy you know um and give me knowledge and knowledge is power. And then when they say that, like they say that to you in school, like if you were in my era, I don't know if they still say that, but I'm a Gen Xer and they would all those commercials, knowledge is power, but it really, really is, you know, like, so knowledge is power. <laughs> so I'm going to end this now and thank you for watching again. Once again, I'm sorry. I have been kind of like absent, but, um, it's been rough. I had to put off my surgery that was supposed to be in January for my neck because my neck didn't heal properly. Um, so I'm, it's been rescheduled for June. Um, but it was kind of like, I went through like this thing, like kind of like a, mm, a rough patch, so to speak. Not, you know, um, Spiritually, I was, uh, um, I was still doing my things, but, um, some days I was just not in it to win it. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so that's why I was like, I'm not bringing that energy to my channel until, gosh, darn it, this hair, <laughs> until my energy is right. So I'm back and since I've seen you last, I lost 17 or 16 pounds. <laughs> I love my dance workout is amazing. And getting in shape and all of that, it, it all is all like, even if you're not out of shape, this is just something you can do for yourself. Something that self care is so very important. You guys so important. Um, I mean, I can't express enough, like taking care of yourself, like, your skin, your, your hair, your, your nails, even just doing your nail. Like, well, these are color straight nails. They're little, little thingies you put on, but I'm just letting my nails grow back out because of, uh, my anxiety being so bad after the accident and stuff. I started 
chewing my nails and um, some of the medications I'm I was on made my nails really weak and so I kept I kept cutting them down and like doing things like to strengthen them and color street does strengthen your nails and I also use like the nail boost system which you know I'm not trying to like you know whatever <laughs> I'm not getting paid for like this like telling you these things but um, I'm starting to feel the strength again. I took my nail boo off yesterday and I just thought, I don't feel like dipping today. So I'm just going to like, you can wear these over that though. You know, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I just decided I was just going to do these and, um, you know, just any, any little thing that you do for yourself that makes you feel good, that makes you just like, um, feel good. Just, I, I don't know, feel, feel good, feel positive. Um, you know, you are, you are powerful. You are your, your best influencer. Like you can influence your day, influence your mind. You can, you can write your story every day. You know what I mean? Like just how you want that day to be. That's why I got that tapestry because I needed that. I needed to stop and see, read that every morning because some days <laughs> I wake up like, <laughs> and, um, you can tell by the bed that I, uh, slept a little crazy. So yeah, I was in pain last night. Sometimes I wake up and the only thing that has moved was my side of the bed and I just whoop. And it's done. But now I have to make the whole bed. So <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> and um, love and light as always. Love you, dragonfly. Um, and I'm out. Thank you for watching.